All right, the Eastman E1 OM Special. The good, the specs, the sounds. Let's talk about it. But before all of that, here's a quick reminder that you can skip ahead to any part of the video through the chapters down in the play bar. If you find this video to be helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to this channel if you feel like you want to be updated whenever I upload a video. All right, let's start with a little bit of the basics. The Eastman E1 OM Special comes with a padded gig bag and inside you'll find a certificate of authentication as well as a cleaning cloth and obviously the guitar itself. All right, let's talk wood. Um, the neck is a full-on mahogany. Um, it's not a one-piece neck and you'll find like a little detail around the heel where you see the, um, the neck is glued on to the heel but it's just barely noticeable they've done a great job in in actually hiding it it you won't feel a thing of it i mean it's smooth as butter and um yeah it feels it feels absolutely amazing i mean it's it's a good size neck it's not like a baseball it's it's quite comfortable all right next up fingerboard we are talking ebony here with a uh, fingerboard radius of 12 inches. Neck profile is a traditional even C. So, I mean, great for chords. Kind of, you know, you're not going to be fast on a 12 fret here, but. It really gets the job done. Uh, with this uh, c-shaped neck we have a bone nut the scale length 25.4 inches and the body dimensions are 15 inches by four and a quarter um, the bracings are a hand scalped x and um, i'll get some close-up on the inside it's really nice i mean looking inside you can actually see the uh, solid gilted sepali coming through and uh, the bracings they actually got like the eastman logo on the bracing such great attention to detail for the body back and sides we have gilted solid gilted sepali which is like a like a mahogany type wood for the top we have solid cured sitka spruce for the bridge and the saddles again ebony with a bone bridge and a herringbone rosette as well as a dual acting truss rod which i mean is great to see on any acoustic guitar of this price point And then to top it all off, we have some beautiful binding on the top as well as the bottom of the guitar. Might have been nice to see like the white binding around, but this is actually great and it feels great as well. There are absolutely no sharp edges. It goes, it's just so flush with the rest of the wood and the body and the binding material is tortoise and then of course the pearl logo for Eastman very reminiscent of what you can find on um, on the other type brand and then the body top as well as the back and sides are done in a what Eastman call a true tone glass finish it looks great i can't tell if it's gonna age as well as uh, nitro finish so that's something we uh, gotta be looking forward to uh, to see developing towards the future eastman claim it to be just as thin and and uh, breathable as nitro finish i actually read online on some 
forums that uh, nitro is actually easier to scratch and ding than this uh, this true tone so if you're in love with your guitar and you want to keep it in good conditions um, i mean i think it's a great step up from it what's left is the pick guard which is a tortoise shell um, tuners i mean that is just absolutely amazing uh, we got open gear tuners which are just amazing they look so vintage um, just like you come to expect on a much much more expensive martin type guitar so these tuners are open gear three by three tuners strung with the dario xt bronze phosphor 12 to 53 so what's good solid top back and sides with gilted sepaly which is consistent and balanced across the tonal spectrum making it diverse in a wide range of playing styles it's comparable to mahogany but its higher density tends to produce a slightly brighter sound with more top and shimmer as well as the thermocured Sitka spruce top for a louder open and transparent projection of tone a dual acting truss rod rolled edges on the fingerboard a padded gig bag bone knot and saddle and highly stable open gear tuners that was quite a bit of information so I'll Stop talking now and uh, let's head into some sound samples. I'll play some chords, I'll play some strumming, I'll play some fingerstyle just to mix it up and uh, hopefully uh, you'll find a tone that you'll like and um, hopefully my playing doesn't suck. <laughs>
Well, all right, let's start wrapping this video up. But before we do, I'd like to take a moment to thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video, you might as well go down and leave a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content, more videos on the Eastman E1OM special. And uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. What, what would you like to see in future videos? Um, would you like to see more demos on this guitar? Uh, do you want to see more finger picking? Uh, want to see lessons? Let me know. All right, the last thing that we need to discuss is the pricing for this guitar. Now, when I bought this guitar back in December 2023, I paid 899 euros here in the Netherlands. So be sure to uh, check the pricing on your local guitar dealer uh, for, you know, your local currency. I will leave links to all the gear used in this video down below. So if you want to go check that out as well, it will be... In it would mean the world to me because that is how I can maintain and grow this channel. All right, that was it. Thank you so much for watching once again. My name is Eugene. I'd like to see you in a future video, but for now, bye.